Hi, my name's Eden. I'm a pumpkin spice enthusiast. I'm also on the WW Blue Plan, and I get 35 points a day. And I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. points a day if you don't know on ww as you lose weight they take away points so i went from 36 to 35 points and yeah let's jump into this my coffee even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my highs you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down If you love Starbucks pumpkin spice lattes, it's like that, but if you got one less pump of pumpkin. It's not like super strong, but it gives you those fall vibes that you want. Super good. We're going to make some zero point pumpkin pie crustless muffins. Crustless pumpkin pie muffins. This recipe is from WW Pound Dropper. I've changed it quite a bit because... I didn't have all of the things. I've made this in the past, but in a pan. So today, I think I'm going to make it into little minis instead, and hopefully that works out. So let's jump into it. It's super simple ingredients. I'll take this. Okay, we got one can of organic pumpkin. Pumpkin is zero points on blue and purple, at least. I'm not sure about green. The recipe calls for one cup of vanilla or caramel premier protein it also says you can use almond milk i'm using the pumpkin spice premier protein instead three eggs which are zero points on blue and purple and the reason this ends up being no points is because eight ounces of premier protein divided between six servings is zero points you need a third a cup of zero point sweetener. I'm using Swerve and Lakanto. I did an equal mix of both. I just like that flavor a little bit better. The recipe calls for vanilla extract. I like maple a little bit better, so I'm gonna put the maple extract. The recipe calls for um, half a teaspoon of ginger, cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I didn't have all three, so I'm just gonna do two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. That didn't take as long as I thought, and I also didn't spill. I know people are going to tell me I should have used a bigger mixing bowl, but here we are. Spray these guys with some cooking spray. I got these at Target for everyone asking. I don't have 12, so I'm going to do 8, and then I'll do 4 more. I'm going to use a fourth a cup. I think that should be close to, yep, yeah, that's perfect. These just came out of the oven. I realized that I used three eggs instead of two. The zero point cheesecake uses three eggs and I think I just had that in my brain. So they're just a little bit fluffier <laughs> than they would usually be. I don't think it'll affect how they taste at all. So I'm gonna let these cool and then I'll put them into the fridge. Okay, pies are good. Let's make some breakfast. I'm thinking just maybe egg bites. Maybe a scramble. These are Meiji mushrooms. They're lower in FODMAPs. I'm gonna have a little bit of kale and maybe some yellow tomatoes too. I'm gonna chop these all up for a scramble. So I have my scramble with my kale, my tomatoes, and my mushrooms, some highly processed cheese product, and the Trader Joe's chili garlic crunch. So my scramble is two points. I have some Pecos cantaloupe for zero points. And with my coffee, I have a four point breakfast. This is two points and my coffee is two points. Yum. Wow, today has been a very busy day. I'm hungry. I'm gonna have this California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken pizza. I'm actually gonna pick the chicken off because I don't really fancy like composite chicken. But I'm gonna add some shrimp onto it and I'm gonna have a side salad. So I'll have this which is nine points and then um, two points of dressing and one point of barbecue sauce to put on my shrimp. I'm gonna put this in the oven even though it's like a microwave kind. Um, who recommended this? Oh, Kizu. She ate this but she got like the bigger size. 
so I was at Target and they had the big one then I had the small they had the small one and when I scanned the small one it was nine points so I'm gonna eat this for lunch and I convenience food am I right sometimes it's just nice to not have to cook so I'm gonna get this prepped and I'll show you it when it's all done I always have like pre-cooked shrimp in the fridge these I took out last night so they're a little bit frosty um but just in case I want like a shrimp cocktail or like I ended up having this pizza and I wanted to add some protein to it like it's just nice to have it like pre made like out I get these at Costco they're the pre-cooked ones obviously I have raw shrimp too but just for like a quick little protein for something like if I wanted to put this on a salad or something it's just nice to have and it lasts in the fridge a few days I don't know three or four days I got a salad spinner best investment ever I got mine at HEB it was only $11 so not really an investment but very very convenient I'm moving the kale out of it and then I'm gonna wash this remain oh I wish I had some green onion my green onion totally died so um this is nine points and then my salad is two points for the dressing and then one point for the avocado and one point for the barbecue sauce so nine 10 11 12 13 13 point lunch which is a higher point lunch but it's good we're getting some pizza which looks delicious lots of sauces some avocado um, for the healthy fats I have avocado tomato corn I don't know if you can see the corn down there and then cucumber and jalapenos so lots of good veggies in here hopefully I counted my points right <laughs> I think it's 13 I'll check the app yep we got 13 13 total yummy just throwing out the wilty ends that I don't really like to eat for mama she's coming over to eat Hey, Mama. Come on. It's okay. Today's been a filming and editing day. I've gotten like three videos filmed, wardrobe change, obviously. So I think today was actually a good day to film. I had intended on remaking something I had made on Instagram, which was a tuna melt stuffed Fresno chili, but I really don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna go for something easy. This is like the day of convenience foods and that's fine. You can still live a balanced life like that. You can still reach your goals eating foods like this. So let me show you what I'm gonna have for dinner, I think, unless I change my mind when I get to the freezer. Trader Joe's Shashuka. The box kind of matches me, but I have hauled this many times. If you follow me on WW Connect. You guys know that's like if you're not on ww we have like a private social media it's called connect i put this on connect all the time this is a very common brunch and dinner for me to have and um i've hauled it of course shashuka is easy to make and it's shared cuisine between africa and the middle east it really just depends how you spice it as to what region you're trying to like mimic the Trader Joe's one is pretty neutral. I think they just use like garlic, salt, and paprika. Um, but I'm gonna make this, and I think I'm gonna roast up some veggies maybe. We'll see. Shashuka. And yes, I know you can make shashuka homemade, but like, I'm busy. I still have a lot of editing to do after this, and I wanna get out for a walk, so this is just a lot faster. Pop it in the pan, medium high, 
I like to cover mine, it goes a little bit faster. This Fresno Chili looks amazeballs, and I'm gonna use half of this, and I might possibly steam some kale. We'll see how I feel. So we're gonna make a little hole with your spoon. Don't worry if it tries to close back up. It's not like the hugest deal. You just want a little bit of pan contact if you can, and then pop in your egg. Make a little bit of space, and then let your little egg nestle in there. And then I cover them and let them cook. Super simple, so good. Our shashuka, I added half an ounce of feta. I usually add goat cheese, but I didn't have any, so I used a sheep's milk feta instead. Nice runny eggs, and then I have some steamed kale. Our peppers, I went ahead and removed the skin because Fresno chilies have a tough skin. My red bell pepper was moldy on the inside, so I couldn't use that. And sourdough toast, so three points for the toast, three points for the starter, one point for the cheese, so a seven point dinner. It looks pretty good, yummy. Usually I make those little mini bell peppers, but I'm all out of them, so this is what we have tonight. Last but not least, I have my little zero point pumpkin pie. I went ahead and added one point worth of caramel drizzle and this amount of whipped cream is zero point so it's one point for my two little minis future thoughts these are just as good it just tastes like the inside of a pumpkin pie but i bet if you put a little nettle wafer in the bottom of each muffin tin that would be really good too thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed and got some food inspo whether you're on dub dub or not Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're new here or if you're old here and just haven't subscribed yet. And until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly. I hope you love yourselves even more. We'll talk really soon. Bye. Back to back, I got you and you got me.